Hey guys, it's Lisa here again. Today I'm going to show you how to share files and to change ownership of files. So there are several different ways that we can do this. As you can see, I'm in my drive already. Um, the first way that you can do this is by, if you have a, like I say, uh, a folder, okay, and you wanna share um, an entire folder of material with somebody. So here, if I wanna, if I wanna share all of my lessons that I'm from teaching at home, my remote learning lessons, I'm gonna hover over the folder, I'm gonna right click, okay, and then I'm just gonna go to share. Okay, when the box pops up, I can choose who to share with. Now, before I enter the email address, I can choose to have the people that I'm sharing this folder with uh, organize, add, and edit, or I can put view only. So I'm just gonna leave it as organize, add, and edit, and I'm going to type my other email address there, okay? So I hit send, yes, I'm sure, and I am now shared on that folder. If I wanted to add other people, they would also be shared on that folder. So now any documents that I put in that folder are automatically going to be shared with those other people. So uh, something else here. Let's say I wanna go into a document. From the document, I'm sure many of you, you have seen, um, up in the right-hand cor corner, as soon as this pops up, there is the share option. It's gonna look basically the same as when I hovered over the folder, but you'll see here I have the same options. Now, if I really wanted to, what I can do is I can click on get shareable link. I can copy this link here and I can email that to somebody. I can post it on social media if I wanted to, 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 to share um, the information in the document. Okay, so I'm, I'm not actually going to do that. And then up here, like this is my school account, so you can see um, that share with anyone in my district. I can go up then and share, make it public, say that anyone with a link can view it. Okay, those are options that you have for yourself. And let's say now, I'm gonna go back to my drive, okay? And if there is a document that I shared with somebody, uh, I think it was this one. And I shared this with myself, my other account. Okay, and let's say I wanted to make ownership, I wanted to give ownership of that document to somebody else, and this was not the one. So I'm actually going to share this with myself really quick. Here we go. I'm gonna share it. Okay, and then I'm gonna go back up and I'm gonna go to here where it says my name. I'm gonna click on it, okay? And then if I wanted to relinquish ownership, I would click here and then I could just click is owner. Okay, I'm not going to do that because I can't um, make ownership somebody outside of my district. But if you wanted to change ownership, that's what you have to do. First, make sure you share it with the person. And then after you share it with that person, you were then able to go in, click the names at the bottom and the list of names of people that are sh it is shared with will pop up and then you can right click on the drop down box and change ownership. So I hope that this has helped all of you learn how to share your files and change ownership. If you have any questions, make sure to comment down below. Give me a thumbs up and make sure you subscribe so you don't miss any more of my how to survive remote learning videos. Take care, guys.